Ho, ho, ho! Merry Rigmas! Well, hello, as you can see, I'm dressed as Father Christmas. We've got 12 days to go to Christmas, which gave me an idea. I'm going to give you something back. It's going to be called Merry Rigmas. We're going to have 12 days of sea fishing rigs released one video every day for the next 12 days so you can catch more fish when you're out at sea. We've got a choice of hats. Ooh, a reindeer one. Chocolate, small little, small little one. Christmas tree hats. So each day we shall vary up the hats so I look slightly different. Let me know which hat you prefer and let's get on with the first rig of day number one. Right, so the first rig I'm going to show you on Merry Rigmas is a multi-species rig. You might have seen this in a lot of videos that I've used on the boat. I've caught bream on this rig, I've caught cod on this rig, I've even caught small conger, dover sole, place. You can pretty much catch anything on it and you can adapt it so you can catch tiny little fish as well. So pick your hook size according to what sort of fish you're going to go for and all you're going to need is a pair of scissors, one very small weight, an ounce or two, your hook choice and your line. Let me show you how to make this one. Right, so we've got our components here. Now, I'm choosing eight pound line because I'm making up this rig for mini species, like tiny little sort of gobies, tiny little wrasse, things like that. So that's why I'm using eight pound line. You can use whatever line you wish for this rig. Uh, obviously pick the line which, which you're sort of most comfortable with and what you think is going to be most suitable for the fish you're going to be fishing for. Normally I use about £30 but today we're going to go with £8. Very small little weight, again I'm, I'm fishing around harbour walls, jetties, so about an ounce of weight is perfect for me, uh, but that that you can you can actually change the weight uh, on this rig as, as, for, to as bigger or as smaller weight as you want, but that's what weight I've chosen. Uh, for hook size, again, that's going to be personal preference, but for me, I'm fishing for mini species, so again, for size, 10 eyed hooks and a pair of scissors. That is all you're going to need. So you can tie these rigs out on the boat. I regularly tie these out on the boat, um, but we're going to tie this one today to show you uh, how to make a little multi-species rig up. Right, so first thing you want to do is grab a little bit of line. Unfortunately, you can't really see that all too well. Now, we're basically making a half blood, lot, blah, half blood knot in the line. So you might be able to see it a little bit. I've tried to use camo line uh, so you can sort of see it uh, on the camera. Uh, right, so the first thing we want to do is grab a little bit of the line, tie a loop in the line, not tie a loop, bend a loop around and bend, bend a loop in the line. Okay, so it's like this. So you've got a loop like that. And then with this end here, which is going up towards that, so you're going to grab this bit of end, poke that through the tag end here. And you want to go around that bit of line a few times, maybe four or five times. So three, four, five, I don't know what, I'm going to do six for luck. And then when you do that, you want, you need to come, you need to bring that bit of loop through that little hole that you've made. Now there's better videos out there showing you how to do this knot, um, but it, the principles are going to be the same. Now once you've got it through that loop, which can be a bit fiddly with smaller lines, which this is only eight pounds, hence why I'm struggling a little bit. Right, we've got it. Grab the knot with your mouth and full tight. Now just before you'll see that you've got a knot in the line and a loop. Now just before we do that tight you want to put a bit of saliva on there. And then hold hold that loop and then pull tight. Just like so. So you'll have a nice little knot in the line and you'll have a loop there. Now what you want to do is cut around about two centimeters from one of the tag ends. So now you've got uh, a loop, no loop on the line, you've just got that knot and um, about four or five inches hanging off. 
And on this, you want to tie your hook. So I'm going to tie on a size 10 hook on there using a grinner, but you could use any, any choice or not. So go ahead and pop your hook on there, and then we're going to go up the line, and we're going to do another one. So as you can see here, we've got around about six inches of line there, and then we come up to our half blood knot, and then we've got our hook, size 10 hook tied on at the end. Now we're just going to cut that tag end off. It's worth noting, it's almost best on these mini rigs to leave a little bit of uh, tag end because what that will do is almost stop as used as a bait stop so if you're putting on a few maggots or a little worm slide that worm over that tag end and it catches it to stop it from falling off so as you can see we've just got that standing off and we're going to do three of those so we're going to go up about about six so that's probably a bit that's about eight inches so go up about eight inches tie your half blood knot again here and do the exact same thing So as you'll see, I've done three hooks. So there's one standoff boom, oh, follow it down, two standoff boom, and we'll carry on it, follow through, three standoff boom. And to finish off this rig, all we're going to do is go to the very end. So there's our first standoff hook there. Uh, and then what we're going to do is go to the very end and, and tie a double loop. So just get a big, big bit of line and just do... A loop in the end. Now you can do a double or a single but I'm going to go through twice so I'm going to go one and then two so it's just like a granny knot basically. I'm just going to grab it my teeth bear with me. There you go. So we've got a loop in the line. Now all that loop is at the very end is to put our weight on. So we grab our little weight, we'll pop that through there, that, all the whole loop goes through there, bring it all the way through, and then all that loop does is goes around the weight, and then we just pull it up, and then the, and the weight's on. Obviously, it will cut off that tag end there. Because this is camouflage line, it's actually really hard to see on camera uh, what I'm talking about. So, my apologies. Um, day one of Merry Rigmus is going to be a little bit cack handed, but. Um, I'm going to show you in a minute with a bit heavier line. So basically, a loop in... This is a how we tie it, just as an overview. A loop in the end of your line, the loop goes through your weight and over the weight, and then it's on. So that makes it really easy to change. There's no, no swivels, there's nothing in this. This is the cheapest rig you'll ever, you'll ever make. You do a half blood knot in the line around about, I like to do it quite near the weight on the first one in case they're at the bottom. So this one is about four or five inches, as you can see, little hook standoff. Carry on up about another, ooh, what we got there? About eight inches, and then we've got another standoff. So we've tied another half blood knot, and then that coming off the end. And then we've got a third one, which is a little bit shorter on that. Oh, hang on, there we go. There it is. And then all we do is we chop it off uh, around about six, seven inches, eight inches, whatever you want, uh, above the last hook. And then we're going to tie another loop. So we just do that, loop it up, and do a, and do a double loop. And all that loop will do is that will just connect to your rig clip. Um, make sure it's a closed rig clip and not um, a genie quick, quick link swivel or something like that because it will probably pop out because it's just a bit of line um, so make sure it's like a proper closed link clip I'm just going to do that double and then Bob's your uncle easy so that is my very easy very quick uh, simple uh, what I call scratching rig um, and it caught me loads on it it's caught me loads that rig I've taught you something today um, that's my little scratching rig We've got weight and three standoff hooks and just a loop at the end and that just attaches to your line and that will catch you all sorts and you can vary that as to what you like. Now I'm going to take you downstairs and I'm going to show you the same rig but it's even easier, even easier to tie if you don't want to do the half blood knots and it works just as well. So this rig I'm about to show you is even easier than the one I've just showed you. I'm actually going to show you here without any background trying to make it easy for you. Um, I'm literally going to do it right in front of you. It's the most simple thing 
ever and again it's caught me cod it's caught me bream it's, it's a great rig really simple and you can tie it on the boat as well right so for this rig you're going to grab your scissors your chosen hook and your line apologies for the dogs in the background we're going to do it in a much quieter room tomorrow they're being a pain in the bottom uh, so for here i'm going to grab around about three foot of line okay grab a hook so the hooks I've chosen for this are just one O's, really simple. Right, so find your end, end, your end bit of line. Bear in mind we haven't chopped any line off the spool yet. And then you can see your hook, see your bit of line, feed that through, like so, and feed it up about three foot. All right, there we go. So we've got about three foot there. And all you're gonna do, all right, so you've got your, your, your hook there, which is sliding upside down, slide, sliding up and down. Just gonna grab your two bits of line and granny knot it. So just go like that, like that, make a loop. So you've got your hook. Hook goes through that loop. You're just granny knotting it on basically. And all that will do is create like that in the line. And now you can either wetten it and push it all the way down or you can leave it as a little boom like that. And I'm gonna leave it as a little boom like that. Still gonna move, like, move, move sen. Moisten it, um, just so that the knots stay strong. And I'm going to pick up another hook. So I've got two foot, about two foot left, and then I've got that hook. So this is going to be a free hook one. So grab, grab another hook, grab the end bit of line. Hook goes through. Now it is important that your hook is facing the point of the hook is going to be facing this this end because this is going to be your end. Yeah, this is going to be where your weight goes. So come all, bring the line all the way up to about. So we've got one hook there. We've got the other hook there. That's about ten inches. That's perfect. And again, grab your lot of grab your line, fold it together so it's like that, and just granny knot it. One granny knot like that, and hook goes through that loop. And then just do that, just moisten it down, like that. So now we've got one, two hooks. As I said, a lot easier than the rig I've just showed you. So you're getting two rigs for the price of one today. Let's get that third one on. In it goes. And then about six inches, eight inches from the next hook. Fold your line over and then granny knot it on. Really simple. Just like so. It's quite a big standoff boom, so that'll be interesting. And then all you want to do is grab your tag end, like so, and do a big loop. So grab your loop, grab your bit of line, and then just double knot it on. So we'll go three, one, two. My other half's looking at me because I've got home from work early. I'm going to tell her why in a minute. So then you've got that big loop there, and all you're going to do is you're going to pop your weight, your weight on there, like I showed you um, previously upstairs in the uh, first rig. And then you're going to grab, see that's your top hook. Measure up about ten inches. Snip it off. The dog's going to bark in a minute, so we're under time pressure. Shush, Monty, hang on. And then again, do double loop. At your other end. I told you we were under time pressure. So you grab your loop and just go double loop. One, two. Pull tight. So you've got a loop and then you've got one hook, two hook, three hook, and your other loop. So your weight's going to go on, on, on that end and then you're going to have three hooks. Uh, down like that. Bait them up with squid. That's the puppy. Bait them up with worms, bait them up with what you like. That is a fantastic, cheap, simple rig for reefs. Hope you enjoyed day one of a Merry Rigmas. Tomorrow we should be doing another rig and we're going to be a lot more prepared tomorrow. No dogs and no missus's head half in the video. Hope you enjoyed anyway. Cheers.